Hey y'all, it's Yvette and I have a new haircut. <laughs> I just, I'm so excited about it. Um, I have been going to get my hair done by the same stylist, Mark, uh, for the longest time. Like you find somebody and you go to the same one. And then of course you guys know I had to move to Colorado. And so right out the gate, I found this Amazeballs stylist named Angie and she blew it out of the park so I'm so excited and now next step is find someone to do my nails <laughs> so I have an appointment uh, with a new place and fingers crossed okay but that's not what I'm here for today I am here today to share with you my cotton cuts box um, so since I've been traveling uh, to move um, you know, we had to, oh my goodness, sell the house, buy a house, pack the house, move the house. We're still unpacking the house. Who are we kidding? That's going to take me forever. Um, and so today I thought, you know what? I am going to sit down and I am going to do some unboxings because I have a few that are piled up. And uh, I know that you guys are excited to see them. And Lord knows I'm excited to see them. So let's open this box. This Cotton Cuts box was shipped to me in September. I received it just before we started to pack up the house and uh, drive across halfway across the country. So this is September's and I will be back after this uh, with October's box because I'm excited to see what both of them are. And the other thing is, um, not only am I getting the classic box that I've been getting like forever and ever, amen, um, but I also signed up to get the Modern Maker box, which gives you um, three one yard cuts of a modern fabrics. So, and they're not labeled. So I'm pretty sure that these are both the classics, but I haven't opened them yet, so I'm not sure. Let's open September. Okay, so here is the inside. They always have their lovely purple paper. And here we go. Um, oh, also, I'm going to post a photo or two. Probably two. Um, I had um, with Stephanie. Stephanie and I both had dinner with uh, Kim and her Cotton Cuts girls. And I'm going to let you know um, who everyone is so that when you open your box, you can put um, a face to the name of who is curating your box. So I'm going to do that at the end of the video. Make sure you stay tuned. Uh, my little or the little saying on the card this month says nothing is impossible. The word itself says I'm possible. And there it is. Oops. Probably shouldn't cover that up. Um, oh, all right. So you could have had your box curated by someone that you haven't met, such as me. <laughs> uh, Tempe has done my box. I didn't meet Tempe. So um, thank you, Tempe, for curating my box. And I will come back to what's inside. So we'll come back to that. Um, first, let's meet Jennifer McClanahan. There she is. I'm gonna have to figure out my setup a little bit better because now it's like I've got all this room and my Hollywood lights back there. I'm probably gonna have to do some more dynamic stuff here so that you can see better. <laughs> so um, I will be working on that, peeps. I will definitely be working on that. So there she is and let's see. It says, Jennifer McClanahan. I, I didn't bring my glasses. Jennifer McClanahan is a pattern designer, a mother of three amazing children, a loving wife, and a grandmother. Oh my goodness, you go girl. Jennifer spent the majority of her childhood in beautiful Southern Indiana, always doing something creative. Growing up, Jennifer was surrounded by multiple generations of sewers, including a grandmother who is still quilting away in her 90s. A few years of graduating, a few years of graduating, she married her high school sweetheart, left Indiana, and traveled the world with her Navy husband and kiddos. That's great. Traveling is, ugh, it's so good for the kids, too. Um, she credits her world travels for expanding her creativity and influencing her modern aesthetic and bold style. After Jennifer's hubby retired from the Navy, the opportunity to create sweet, pe sweet tea pattern 
company presented itself and she rose to the challenge. Jennifer feels blessed and lucky that she can spend her days in her studio doing what she loves, creating, sewing, and quilting. When Jennifer is not in her studio, you can find her binge watching reality TV, playing games with her family, and hanging out with her grandkids. Uh, that's great. Okay, so Sweet Tea Pattern Company is the name of her company. And um, I'm going to go ahead and post uh, the photos right here of the patterns that she's offering up for us to choose as our gift for this box this month. Um, the first one is Pumpkin Patch, and it's really cute. It has... Um, and I'm looking at it sort of from afar right now, but it's like two little pumpkins and then it's got like little trees. It's the cutest little thing. Um, the next one is called Ballpark. That one's very interesting looking. So it's got like, um, these colored like X's with that almost looks like an asterisk. Um, that one's very interesting too. Then she has one called Short Order. And it's got some flying geese, which I love me some flying geese. You're about to see Jelly Bean, I think. Are you going to come over here, buddy? Oh, there's a little ear. You got a little ear. <laughs> um, it's, it's really cute. I see... Um, I, I like... Oh, my goodness. I mean, I'm looking at all of her patterns, and I, I don't know how I'm going to pick. I really don't know how I'm going to pick. The next one is called Spinning Crazy. And that one is... Uh, a variation of a star that is quite interesting. So it's got the star, the the X's to make the star, but then it's like a double. That one's nice. And then finally, uh, she has one that's called scrapbooking. And I can't really tell in the picture that I'm looking at. So I'm sure that the picture that's right here is a lot better. And, um, Gosh, you guys, I don't know. I'll make a decision and then I'll let you know which one I decide to pick. Sometimes, quite often, in fact, more often than I probably should admit, I opt for the free one and then I buy one or two of the others because I just can't make up my mind. And I love having patterns. Um, I don't know about you, but even if I just have the patterns, um, even if I don't use it, like a hundred percent the way it was written I love sometimes like combining different things and putting them like in a quilt and making like a little collage of sorts and so there are little things that I like about a lot of different quilts and so I will tend to buy um, the patterns so that I can you know use some little parts of it i think a lot of people probably do that especially once you've um been quilting for a while and you kind of like the idea of you know putting something together for yourself so i do that i do that quite a bit um so i'll let you know what i choose um all right so the block of the month is this guy Boop. and there's a color sheet on the back so if you're making that Utilize the little color sheet. That'll help you out. Okay. So, now I'm back to the contents. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about in the contents is the lanyap. So, every month we get a little lanyap, which is a, a tiny little thank you gift to each person who is subscribing. Um, just saying thanks. It's a little, it's a little something extra for nothing, right? And this month it is... A little notepad from Cotton Cuts. So it's it's just a perfect size. And they're sticky notes, right? So you can stick it on something with a little reminder to self or whatnot. And those are super cute. You get and we got quite a bit. There must be at least 50 sheets in there. That's really cute. Okay. Um the fabrics, which you're all been waiting for. Um, I have some batiks. And the batiks this month are Spectrum by Jessica Van Vandenberg for Northcote Fabrics. Then I have florals. And the florals are Floral Show Coastal Walk by Liberty Fabrics for Riley Blake. We have, or I have, the Holiday Seasonal Fabrics. And this month it is Holiday Flourish by Studio RK for Robert Kaufman. 
Then we have Juvenile and Children's, and this month it is Tropicolor Birds by Connie Haley for Studio E. And finally, our blenders are Fabrics from the Attic by Juicy Juice for Andover. Um, so let's... I'm trying to stand this little card up so I can look at it. Okay, uh, my setup is different, you know, like this. It's all different, so I'm getting used to everything. All right, so here are our fabrics. I don't know why I keep saying our, because we all get different stuff. These are the ones I got. These are my fabrics. Let me scooch that down there. Um, the bundle is lovely, as you can see. And um, all right, let's get going. I am, uh, if this is the first time you're watching, welcome, <laughs> first of all. Um, and if it is your first time, please make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you know every time that I post a video or go live or any of that good stuff. Um, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That certainly helps me out too. Okay, so what I do is I go through each fabric and I kind of put them in groups of where I think they fall in each fabric collection. And then I go through, I show you all the fabrics and I tell you where I think it belongs, like which collection it belongs in. If I am correct, it is going to match what is written down here. Um, but... You should take for gospel whatever is written on the bottom of the screen because that is my what I have found from my research and then that is correct. What's a coming out of my mouth could absolutely be incorrect. <laughs> okay, so let me start putting these. Um, um, okay, there's that. All right, I think that, that goes there. This definitely goes here. These look like they go together. Oh. Okay, those definitely go together. Don't know what that is. This is going to go here, I think. Oh, my Lord. What is this? Okay, I think those go together. But then that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's not right. These, oh, I think those go with there. Okay, I think I'm ready. Are you ready? I try to go as fast as possible. So that also means that I'm probably incorrect on some of them. Um, sometimes I shock myself. All right. So the first group are the Batiks. Spectrum by Jessica Vandenberg for Northcote. And I think that these two fabrics fall in that category. This is the first one. Yeah, I'm going to have to move that. You know what it is? Hold up. I know exactly what it is. <laughs> Let's see if that fixed it. Because I think that might have fixed it. I had a chair that was over there. And so it was kind of making a shadow. Anyways. Okay, that's not it. <laughs> I'll have to figure it out later. But I'm going to do the best I can to give you a, a, a really good um, depiction of this fabric. There it is. And... I think this one is also from Spectrum. Mainly because it looks very uh, batik-like. So, there you go. I wonder, what if I change the camera angle? Hmm, I'm not going to start messing with that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the next one are the florals. The florals are Floral Show Coastal Walk by Liberty Fabrics for Riley Blake. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure these are the ones. I I have chosen three fabrics for this. And this is the first one. And those look like tulips to me. Am I the only one who thinks that they were probably going for tulips? Um, so floral show, right? And then, I actually really like this one. Um, I'm going to open it up a little bit more because it's a nice ombre. <laughs> um, and this is it. And I'm putting this in the same category. And I love this. I don't know if I have it in the right spot, but I love it a lot. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do with that. Very pretty. 
Okay. Oops. Oh, I folded it wrong. <laughs> Y'all know me. I have to get it back in there just like it came out. I don't know why. And then lastly, and I, I'm, I'm kind of liking these too. There's like lovebirds and cocktails and all kinds of stuff on this one. And that splatter, I just love that. Toucan. <laughs> okay, so there's that category. Now the next one is the Holiday Seasonal, which is Holiday Flourish by Studio RK for Robert Kaufman. Okay, I have chosen three fabrics to put in this category. Um, this is the first one. It is like a navy blue. Um, maybe not quite navy, uh, but then it's got that metallic on it. And that meta there's so much metallic on it, it does give it a nice heavy feel, if you like that. Um, definitely a nice heavy feel. Um, and then I chose this guy to go in there. Also, quite a bit of metallic. Lighter blue. With that sort of dark blue like splotched in the back. And finally, this white one with the silver. This is very rich looking. It's got that nice star in it. Okay. Next, we have Juvenile and Children's, and the fabric collection is Tropicolor Birds by Connie Haley for Studio E. This is not right. Okay, I know what I did. I know what I did, guys. Because the, okay, what I showed you for... Floral Show Coastal Walk by Liberty Fabrics for Riley Blake. I am 99.99% .99 sure now that these three that I showed you, these are the Tropicolor Birds by Connie Haley for Studio E. I got these completely wrong. These are definitely Juvenile and Children's Tropicolor Birds by Connie Haley for Studio E. Um, I, I'm... I'm only saying it now. So in the beginning, we'll just mark that as Yvette was wrong. <laughs> okay, so since these are going in the Juvenile and Children's, I can tell you for a fact that these two are the Floral Show Coastal Walk by Liberty. Don't these look more like Liberty than the other? I mean, come on, Yvette. Really? <laughs> Did I lose my brain along the way on the road? <laughs> okay, so these are Floral Show Coastal Walk by Liberty Fabrics for Riley Blake. And um, there's the first one. And these are um, Liberty Quilting Cotton. So it's not the lawn. So if you've gotten lawn before, this is a different feel. This is definitely Quilter's Cotton. And this is the other one. Okay. And finally, we have the Fabrics from the Attic by Juicy Juice for Andover. And I received two fabrics in that one. Here is the first one. I have to figure out where that shadow is. I wonder if it's just the placement of my light. I'm going to move it. I think that's probably what it is. And then the other one is this one. This is my favorite of the two, really. Oh, it kind of goes with my nail polish, too. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. I am going to have um, my October box coming out um, soon after this one, and I will um, hopefully do a little bit better job. <laughs>
<laughs> I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, so let me put them back in the box and give you one last view of them. Um, as now I have the collections together the way I think that they go. There they are. <laughs> and why don't you let me know uh, what you got down below. And if you like any of these fabrics, let's have a little discussion about it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah. Thank you.